Hi everyone, my name is Will. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Uh, we're gonna try different camera placement today. So this is a little bit closer than normal. So let me know if you like it or if you want to uh, have it the way it was, where it's a little bit further away from me. Um, I'm, just, I'm just playing with the camera to see what works the best for these readings. And I noticed I really had to stretch to show cards the, for the last few videos. And I'm like, mm, I probably should bring the camera closer to me. So at, at, least for, at least for you guys, so you know what cards I'm talking about, especially with these um, Oracle cards, these Oracle cards that have such amazing artwork. Um, I definitely want you guys to be able to see them um, up close. So I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, it's still cold here in Oklahoma. <laughs> it is February 3rd, 2023. So it's still cold. It's still, it's still cold today. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I hope that it does start to thaw out and get a little warm because I don't know about you guys, but I'm 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 done with the cold. Like I'm I'm done. Like some summer can come now. <laughs> we've we've bypassed the holidays. We can we, we can just jump straight to summer. <laughs> so as always, I do not accept any archon, reptilian, demonic, or negative attachments. I only accept light and love in this space, and I'd like to ask Archangel Michael's white light of protection over this tarot reading today and i would also like to ask spirit what are the energies for today february 3rd 2023 what are the whoa <laughs> spirit spirit's ready with messages okay so we have the three of swords in reverse it popped out in reverse so that's how we're going to read it um so I feel like you may be getting over some sort of heartbreak in your life. There's something, there's something that you have been very upset that's really upset you, and you're and you're getting over it. Well, and you're getting over it. Um, we also have the six of pentacles. So I feel like now that you've now that you've passed this pain in your life, you're getting over this pain in your life that's shown up, this heartbreak, I feel like the scales are being, are being uh, re, re, re-leveled. Um, I, feel like, I feel like now you're in a better position that you can now help other people. So maybe you needed some help. Um, during this time, during this heartbreak, during whatever pain that you've gone through. Um, but now you're in a, in a better position that you can now help other people. Um, and, that's, and that's really powerful because when, when we go through these times, when we go through these times, it helps us to grow. It helps us to grow. So when we get, when, when we're, when we're over it, when we are past that pain, we've learned those lessons that the universe put in our path to learn. So then we can give more generously in helping other people and helping other people, um, with whatever issues they're going through, whatever problems they're going through. It gives us that experience, it gives us that wisdom, um, and not just mental wisdom, but also physical, uh, sorry, sorry, not just <laughs> physical, like mental wisdom, but also like emotional and spiritual wisdom. Sorry about that. All right, so a whole bunch popped out. So we're gonna pull these. So, we have the world card. This is like the third reading in a row that the world cards popped up. Only this time it's in reverse. So um, 
I feel like... I feel like this cycle isn't over yet. This cycle isn't over yet. So you're past the pain. You're to the point where you can help people. But you're not all the way through it yet. Um, and then we have the star card. So... Let's pull another one. Because a bunch came out all at the same time. Four of Wands. Okay. So now, now, now I have a little bit more reference to go from. Uh, and then the last one is the Ace of Cups. All right. So I feel like you're not you're not all the way through this three of swords energy yet you're 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 not all the way through it you are like maybe 80 90 percent the way through it you're to the point where you can help other people now you're to the point where the scales are being balanced okay or they're they're balancing but they're not completely balanced yet um and that's why the world is upside down because it's the it's the it's not the end yet it's not the end yet but i feel like the direction you're going in is is a direction that you've been wanting to go in um this usually happens whenever This usually happens when when we want to start new, when we when we want something, because energy does not just disappear; it transforms. So whatever previous energy you were in has to die, has to go away, has to come down in order for it to transform into into something else, into something that you're manifesting, into something that you're wanting in your life. So I feel like, I feel like this heartbreak, um, I feel like it's something that you've been wanting. I feel like it's something that you, that you, maybe you didn't want it to happen that way, but it's something that you wanted to end that you wanted wanted to be done with, wanted to be finished with, um, so you can move on to what you really want. You to what to to what you're wanting to manifest, to what you're to what you're wishing for in life. And I feel like and I feel like it's going to give you a lot of I feel like it's going to give you a lot of um, joy, um, the the new direction you're going, um, and that doesn't mean that when you when you get to this point that all of this energy disappears. It's it's not. It's you're still going to have scars from the past. You're still going to have you know, feelings from the past that could be, um, that could bubble up from time to time. It happens to all of us. Um, but where you're going, your destination, where you're headed, is going to be filled with a lot of joy, a lot of celebration, a lot of, a lot of happiness. And that is the Four of Wands. And I feel like it's gonna come really fast. Like, like whatever whatever this is, is it, if it's a new relationship, if it's a new job, if it's a new situation, it's going. You're going to feel that joy, that happiness, that optimism, um, fairly quickly. You're, you're you're gonna feel it fairly quickly because we have the wands energy here. 
Um, and I think once you, I think once you get to that point, you're going to be feeling a lot of new emotions. You're going to be feeling a lot of new emotions. Your, your cup will, will runneth over, um, just like in the picture. Um, I feel like you'll be very overjoyed. You will, you're going to... You're going to open yourself up to new emotions because you're in a new environment, okay? And it's gonna be, and it's something, it's gonna be an environment that you're manifesting, that you've been manifesting for a while, that you've been wishing for for a while. It's going to be, it's gonna be something you wish for. And that's going to, that's going to give you a lot of, um, just, it's just going to make all these emotions just come up and just be like, I, you know, gratitude, thankfulness, um, just contentment. It's going to give you a lot of that, but you do have to get through this energy first. Okay. And for, for, you to get to this point okay for you to get to this point those scales are going to have to be rebalanced and they are they are and you are getting to the point where you can help other people which is which is great um because that's really that's really what we're here for is to not only personally grow but to help other people grow and the best way to do that is to grow ourselves and then other people see that and they're like oh wow that person like that person really has their life together that person you know is you know i know i know that person is you know afraid to do this but look at them like they're 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 doing this um you know and if they can do that i can too um so yeah I don't feel like there's any other messages out of these six cards. I find it very interesting that whenever I, except for except for one reading, um, when when I work with this writer weight tarot deck, um, and I'm not doing a specific spread, I'm just shuffling till cards fly out. It's usually six. It's usually six cards that pop out, and that's that's very it's very interesting but it gives me a, a a bigger picture it gives me a bigger picture um all right let's get an energy oracle card can i get an energy oracle card today Oracle card today. All right, so we have Angel of Love. Love. You know, I really feel like this situation that you're coming out of, it broke your heart. It broke your heart. It, it it crushed you. It it really hit you hard. Um, it may even have caused you to question love in some form. Uh, like what is love? Um, what is it to love? Um, maybe it was a bad like romantic relationship that went sour. And you're like, did this person even love me? You know, what, what, what is love? Like, what, what, what are the signs of love? But I feel like the situation that you're going into, the situation that you've been wanting, that you've been wishing for, that you have um, been asking the universe for, um, that you've been moving towards, um, manifesting, I feel like it's going to show you, again, what love is. So maybe you've forgotten what love is. Maybe this relationship has been sour for quite a while and it made you 
like looking back on it made you think to yourself wow did this person even love me were we just together just for convenience you know like was it just easier to to you know to have an apartment together and to live together and to split everything 50 50 like were we just roommates you know type of situation um but i feel like this new situation that you're coming into okay it's gonna it's it's going to be it's going to show you emotions that maybe you haven't had in a while okay but i think one of those emotions is going to be love it's going to be realizing what love is again um and sometimes and sometimes we need that sometimes we need that um Sometimes we need that uh, reminder, you know, especially especially if we have not been in a very good situation, you know, it really, it can really um, help to have, it can really help to have um, a reminder of what, of what love is. Um, so maybe in this new, in this new situation, okay, Maybe you meet somebody, maybe you meet someone, and it doesn't have to be romantic, it'd be platonic, but it just, there's something there that's going to, in this new situation, that's going to re remind you of what love is. I don't know how it's gonna present itself, but it's going to remind you what love is. All right, but that's, that's what I'm getting. All right, can I get a Keepers of the Light Oracle card today? What Keeper of the Light would best assist in this energy today? What Keeper of the Light would best assist in the energy of this spread? Whoa. All right, so we have Hilarion, Divine Healing divine healing um honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others healing healing waters um healing through emotional healing more water emotional healing um This, this situation has left you a little fried, has left you a little um, like on edge, um, like emotionally fried, like a circuit, um, like a fried circuit. And that, that can be hard, but there's so much wisdom that you can, that you will eventually get from it once you work through that healing once you work through those emotional once you work through that emotional healing sorry i'm sorry um life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased so when you heal natural like when you heal yourself spiritually emotionally um you're you're helping to heal your life force energy um because our aura our auric field when we're damaged when we're uh, when we are going through trauma when we have that trauma our auric field is very small it's very small it barely you know encompasses our our physical vessel but when we're healed, that auric field expands and it's to where other people can feel your life force energy. It's where other people will be naturally attracted to you because they can sense that auric, that, that 
healing energy of your auric field because you yourself are healed. All right, so we have Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire, set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. So, yeah. When, when, we, when we heal ourselves, okay, we replenish our life force, we repair our life force energy, and then we're able to refocus our intention and direct it, and then we become an unstoppable force because we are divine beings. We are very, very powerful beings. All right. Let's pull a spirit animal oracle card today. Let's pull a spirit animal oracle card today. I'm gonna pull another one, but I just find it very interesting because you saw, you saw how I shuffled. You saw how this one just hopped right out, but we have grasshopper spirit again, again. Take a leap of faith. Um, yeah, I'm getting, and, and I said this in my last video, I'm feeling like 2023, is all like the universal energy is movement move move the universe is telling you move stop stop being stagnant stop being in one spot you need to move you need to you need to go you need to do over two years is plenty of is plenty enough time to to um to be still and know uh, you, you, you need to move, you need to take action, you need to do this year. Um, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. When, when we heal ourselves, there is no stronger a foundation than, than our healed selves. Um, there is no stronger a foundation than when we're healed because not only are we able to move forward in our life, but then we become this, I, I hate to use the word example, but we become, we become someone that other people can, can, can look at and go, wow, that person is able to, to accomplish all this stuff, is able to work through all this stuff, is able to go through all this stuff, and they're still going, you know? Um, and when, and when we do that, we're, we're, we're inspiring other people. We're inspiring other people to change their lives. Um, and then that energy is just, is just reciprocated and multiplied throughout the entire world, throughout the entire universe. And then we have all of this positive energy going in our lives. And just, can you imagine um, how powerful like we would be if we could heal all of our trauma and move forward in life and be that, and I hate to use the word example because that puts a lot of pressure, um, especially if you're a type A personality, but you can be that inspiration for others. You can be that inspiration to, to do, to move forward, to be, to, to uh, heal for other people. Um, two other cards popped out, so let's see. Let's see what other messages. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. The vulture, um, literally picks apart the entire animal um it, it it doesn't it doesn't waste anything and i feel like and i feel like this situation was hard it was really hard but you're moving past it but 
you are you're not allowing it to be a wasted experience you've you've pulled from it you're healing from it and you're moving forward you're not letting any part of this of that previous situation um, be wasted um, you're 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 learning the lessons that you were supposed to learn so you can move forward in life and be successful canary spirit sing your own song I, I i love this i love that i love that canary with the with the crown that is so cool um so yeah be yourself uh when you focus when when you repair when you repair yourself you repair your life force you focus your intention okay you've learned what you're supposed to learn so you can then be yourself you can move forward you can sing your own song um you've pulled you pulled the lessons that you were supposed to from this situation and you're moving forward so that that is awesome that is awesome and you are doing exactly what you were supposed to do in this situation all right one last card and we'll close this out because i'm freezing and i want to um go inside <laughs> All right. Can I get one card to finish this spread out? Can I get a card for this spread? Oops. Okay. This this deck is so overzealous. I I, I love it to death, but. It's very overzealous um <laughs> it always i ask for one card and it throws out like 15 um so let's this one fell out first i like this whatever situation this was whatever heartbreak this was you're healing from it but you need to forgive yourself as well as whoever else was involved in it um, forgiveness okay because that is the way that you're able to fully heal um, and when you heal then you become more empathetic you become more empathetic it's where you in future situations can see both sides of the situation it's where you can put you can put You can put the other person's shoes on and be like, okay, oh, I understand why this person's acting this way. I, don't, I understand why this person did this. I understand why this person said this because they're, because they're hurt. They have trauma, just like you're working through right now. Um, you're repairing your life force. You're, um, you're healing so this way you can help be an inspiration to other people um yeah but forgiveness forgiveness is the first step it is the first step and that forgiveness will will, will serve you in the future um forgiving someone is not a sign of weakness you can forgive You can forgive, but not, but not forget what happened, okay? You're taking the lesson from it, and maybe that is to never, never do that again, never allow that to happen again to you, um, because what they did was completely wrong, but you can forgive for your own sake, for your own healing, Okay, that doesn't mean that you then trust that person to 
and then you end up making the same mistake again and again and again. No, 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 no. That doesn't mean that you get to be used as a doormat when you forgive somebody. No, no, no. You're forgiving them for yourself, for your own healing. So then you can move on and not make that same mistake again. So you can, so you can protect yourself in the future. Um, and you're doing that by fully healing yourself because when you fully heal yourself, then you can see the signs of whatever happened that was bad that you're having, that you need to forgive that other person um, for. You're able to see that. You're able to see those signs. You're able to sense. You're able to, to have that in, intuition be like, this person is, is screwing you again. Um, or, you know, this person is screwing you like that other person did, you know? Um, yeah. It's so you can heal yourself, so you can protect yourself in the future. That's why you forgive. Um, it doesn't mean you go back to that person or you open yourself up to more hurt or more pain or more abuse. No, you do not do that. You protect yourself. All right, so I feel like that's the message today. Thank you guys so, so much for, for watching. I hope it was helpful. I hope that it was very clear. Um, but I feel, I feel, like, I feel really positive about the future with, um, in this spread. It's, it's, it's gonna be good. It's going to be um, a very good place. If you resonated with this, um, it's, it's going to turn out. If you, if you heal yourself, um, if you lay a strong foundation, if you've forgiven the previous situation and you've learned lessons you're supposed to, you're, you're going to move forward and it's going to, you're going to be in a much, much happier place. You're going to, you're going to remember what what love is you're going to re-remember what love is you're going to remind yourself what love is all right so thank you guys so so much you guys have a wonderful day stay warm stay safe and i will see you in a few days much light and love to all of you bye